Okay, good morning. It is a uh, Thursday morning. We are uh, on the back half of vacation. Uh, most folks getting ready to go back to the real world tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week. So, uh, but still got a couple days left. We got rain in the forecast as we head into Friday. So, Friday's your wet day. Today is money, just right off the top. Thursday, you can feel it, right? Plenty of sunshine. Really no, I mean, very little, if any, valley fog. Not that cold last night. And, and mostly sunny throughout the entire day. Now, tomorrow from front to back, from beginning to end, Friday's kind of a wet day. It's a frontal system. It's a classic weather system. Got a little bit of surf to talk about. That's coming up. There are some surf advisories. We'll look at the latest model. And uh, this is uh, the GOES East, Geoorbital Earth Stationary Satellite. That is the GOES East. We have a GOES West and a GOES East. GOES West is the one we used to look at. We're looking at the East Coast now. So I'm up just a little bit earlier than normal. And uh, the West Coast is in dark, right? It's the, the, the sun hasn't quite, well, it's come up, but it's shadowed. The East Coast has a better shot, but I love, hang on. Mm. I love um, just, I keep talking about Gaia, right? I'm not, again, I'm not that guy, Gaia. But um, I definitely, when I look at a picture like this, I just go, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's alive for sure. For sure, it's not even a question. Okay, so here is uh, San Francisco. It is mostly sunny. A few high cirrus clouds. We know what that means, right? We know there's activity out in the Pacific that these are clouds are running in front of. So if you're a mariner back in 1890, you're like, oh, the storm, she's a brewing. That's that's kind of how it used to go. And there there are storms that brew. Well, tomorrow we got rain coming. And if you notice. One of the things you'll notice most likely as we go through the day today, the clouds will lower down. The moisture level of the atmosphere starts to fill up. And so the clouds will lower, 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 lower. And by Friday morning, it's raining. And you're going to wake up Saturday morning and it's going to look like this, but without the cirrus clouds. I know that's a, that's a broad stroke, but that's kind of how they used to do it. And that's how, uh, and it works too, for the most part. In other words, when you see those high cirrus clouds, especially this time of year, a good indication that there is something coming. It's also a good indication of some big surf too. I know that's a hard one to make direct one-to-one, -one, but that means you've got big storms up in the Aleutians. That's where they're born and that's where our storms are born and that's um, what it shows. Okay, let me see if I can push this over a little bit. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I did want to do that. That's Mount Shasta. Some lenticular clouds forming and oh, by the way, we're further north. We're closer to the weather system, so the clouds have, well, there's a cap cloud here, but you can see these clouds have already lowered down. Those almost look like alto, alto stratus, maybe? I'm, I, got, I, mean, I can't tell directly. But again, Mount Shasta City, beautiful morning, but it does look cold, and it's cloudy. And they're gonna have showers. They've had scattered showers up there. They've had some snow, uh, you know, down to reasonable elevations, down to 5,000 feet. Snow flurries, anyway. This is a scene I didn't want to show you. I don't know why I had that up. This is the model, and I want to show you what happens Friday. So we're going to push through here. Here is right now. This is this morning. That's that. Actually, you can see up in Mount Shasta, far northern California. That's what's happening now, right? Clouds, showers getting ready to move in. So, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a tutorial on like the cirrus clouds because this is a real, actually kind of a textbook example of a weather system to the north and the cirrus clouds to the south, but not today. So here is the uh, rain moving to the north. This is the model. We have a beautiful day today. And then here comes our Friday morning right there. That's Friday morning, about 4 a.m. And then here it comes. And watch what it does to the Sierra Nevada. That bullseye is, is classic early January, extra tropical uh, weather system, cold front, everything's working with this thing. It looks very, what you would, much like you would expect. And then it gets hung up in the mountains a little bit. This is Friday mid-morning. Snow advisories up there for sure. Most likely you're gonna see chaining up on Friday. And my thought on Friday is a lot of folks traveling, right? So Friday's gonna be your mountain don't travel day, if you can avoid it. I mean, you can make it, but it's just gonna be, you know, they'll be, they'll be chaining up. And then you see it kind of hangs up in the mountains. This is uh, Friday afternoon and it's moving out of the Bay Area, but it does click into San Jose a little bit. So let's back it up again. Here we go. This is a broad stroke model. So the grid, the resolution is, is, is pretty thick, but you get the idea, right? And then it pushes through 
and then it's out and then we go dry for a while. And that's the, the, the second part of all this, right? Is that we are in a, a pattern that is going to dry out and kind of at least potentially give us no rain. And you're talking about, I keep talking about this, but Southern California, 5% of rainfall average for the year, 8% of rainfall average for the year, well below. And so fire season for them is on. I mean, it's the driest, I saw this on Jan Knoll's uh, page. He's a good friend, Golden Gate Weather Services, really awesome meteorologist. Um, Jan uh, sent out something this morning about uh, San Diego, LA being the, uh, to, to date, the driest it's been at this point in, in, in the month, and San Diego the second driest. So I think that's how, I think San, LA was the first driest it's ever been, ever since records. San Diego the second driest it's been to this point in the season. So this, page, this long range model, will show that it's going to continue. So here comes Friday, right there, right? So the, we're looking out in the Pacific because we're looking at what's to come, what's to come, and all this is to come. Now this is where the cirrus clouds are coming from, from here, and this one will move in, it'll slide into the next position to the north, and cirrus clouds will fill in overhead as well. So just so you can kind of visualize it. And I, so looking at the Pacifics, what happens out there, right, is what happens here eventually, to some extent, to the West Coast. And it's funny, I'll just, real quick tangent. <clears throat> when I started in this business in television 35, 38 years ago, the East Coast guys, pff, hey, you guys don't have any real weather, you guys, right, right, you know, you guys, we, we got tornadoes and hurricanes. I remember just going, oh my God, I just want to choke you guys out, real seriously. The East Coast, West Coast weather guy thing, I, I just want to do this. I'm like, besides having, you know, fire weather, drought weather, mudslides, landslides, we have, we have weather. It was weird how they felt like we had nothing. But, but the thing I'm getting at, where I'm going here, when you live in, well, okay, <laughs> Jeez, sorry. When they built the railroad, the Transcontinental Railroad, there was no weather service. They built it, and then they built up the telegraph lines along the railroad line, right? So now you have a telegraph that goes from Chicago to San Francisco. That had never happened before. So what was happening is San Francisco would say, hey, Chicago, whatever, dash, dot, dash, dot, dash, dot. It's raining here, right? That message would get to Chicago, and three days or two and a half days, three days later, Chicago, oh, it's raining here. Here we go. That's how the National Weather Service started, from the telegraph companies, right? That's well, they figured out, I'm going somewhere with this. They figured out that wet weather was traveling from west to east. That's kind of a new concept, especially in, that, in, in those long distances. And so people in Chicago would talk to the people in Denver or Boise, and they go, oh, and then they started making these connections. And so, yeah, it's a hell of a lot easier when you know what's coming when you're in the on the West Coast, which we are and we love it, and we don't ever want to go Chicago, live in Chicago, you don't have you have an ocean, just massive ocean with a few ships making reports. So fast forward to current time, and some ships send up weather balloons, but it's it's a small sampling. So you really don't know, especially before good satellite information, you really don't know what's going on in the Pacific, man. You really don't compared to what they have you know in the continental united states by the time these weather systems get to new york they've been watching them for three or four days now out in the pacific it's a very different deal it's gotten better there's satellite sensing or whatever but i guess what i'm getting at is i remember just thinking to myself and i couldn't really say anything to them because i was young and i didn't really feel like i knew everything and i still don't know everything but i'm just going you guys are idiots i mean are you kidding we these we have basically extra tropical hurricanes at times, you know, in terms of just formation, forming off our coast that we can have no way to get access to because you know what the ships do when they see a big storm? They go the other way. Okay, so, sorry about that. That's like a therapy moment or something. Okay, so here is, uh, here we are. Here is Friday, right? Boom, that's the rain. And then we go dry. That's why we were originally LA's driest season to date. And you can see the high pressure ridge. You can see us. 
atmosphere is alive. Swell is being generated. We're going to continue to have surf, especially as we get into early next week. So anyway, there's the ridge of high pressure. And I'm taking you all the way out 10 days or so. So right, there's not much going on. So do with that as you will. Big surf along the coast. And that's, again, the swell, the, the rain may not be happening, but the swell is happening. And the weather service keys into this. In my mind, it's always dangerous. And in San Francisco, Ocean Beach, this time of year, um, it just is. A lot of it has to do with the water temperature, right? Hypothermia sets in pretty quick. Okay, so swell's running about 13 feet out of the west-northwest, about 10 to 13 feet. And it's getting bigger. It's dumpy. This time of year is kind of squirrely because you've had the big swells, and those have chewed up the sandbars. And so you have the bottom, it breaks really well on bigger surf, but on these it kind of medium days, see how it's kind of chunking up on the inside and just throwing the inner inside sandbar, see that? So it's for surfing, you need just the right tide. So a lot of folks come down here to Pacifica, Lindemar Beach, Pedro Point, which I have seen. I saw some pictures of guys surfing that earlier this, this year. And then you see lots of heads. It is a good learning spot. It really is a good learning spot. And then the Keatings live over here, who, if you know anything, you Google the Keatings in terms of prominent San Francisco uh, water men family. They're awesome. I've, I've, uh, Dick, I've, I've met Dick over the years. I used to see him when I'd go surf down there back when I was a kid. Um, but just really awesome people. Awesome people. Legacy stuff. And then here's Steamer Lane. Tide's coming up high, and then it drops out this afternoon. And you can see... Cleans up pretty good, but still it's got that slow texture to it. Incoming tide and it's fat. So it's barely hitting the bottom. That's actually, I know you're thinking, oh, that's a great wave. It's kind of slow, um, right? See, it's mushing out there. It's because it's deep, deep water. Okay, and, and then so this is the rain anticipated for Friday. And actually, this is actually for the next five days or four days. And it just shows you how the rain is all going to be up north. And it's not even that much. So we are into kind of going into after tomorrow kind of a dry period. So today, boom, go for it. Friday is the day that you're just like, okay, I'm not traveling to the mountains if you can avoid it. I'm, and I'm just kind of hunkering down, getting the gutters clean and whatever. It's going to rain a little bit, as you can see here, not a lot. And then Saturday, Sunday, boom, money. Okay, there you go. Thank you for hanging in. We'll see you back here tomorrow.